All right, so sorry to abruptly have ended the last video. Um, I had filmed it, well, the f today I'm filming this. Uh, I filmed the last one yesterday. It's probably not gonna be uploaded two days in a row, but whatever. Um, so yeah, sorry I cut it short. Um, here's that, enjoy, yum, yum, yum. All right, we have some more mail to open. I've already started kind of opening it just a little bit just to make it easier for me on camera. Whoa, that is a fucking huge, huge sleeve for this this card, but whatever. Be quiet, dogs. Thank you. Um, Team Rocket Squirtle. That's a fucking beautiful card, oh my. Ridiculous card sleeve, but <laughs> uh, amazing card. Here, let me take this off camera real quick in case my address shows. All right, have I got it? Yes, I've got it. Incredible, right here. We've got Wizards of the Coast. First movie, Dragonite. That is a fucking beautiful, beautiful card. Um, it's actually one of, probably one of my favorites. I don't know, it just looks really fucking good. Um, all right, I guess I can slow down a little bit because I, I, I have a little bit of time. All right, open this. Chuck that aside. And now I'm gonna open that. There we go. Hello. Whoa. Hang on, let me see. Wait, how did they... All right, some, some eBay sellers are... A, a little overzealous with their um, their methods of wrapping up the card. I appreciate it getting here safely, but sometimes I feel like I'm like, you know, picking locks and solving puzzles just to open my fucking mail. Um, but here we are, Al Creamy V. So, I didn't want to purchase this card, I wanted to pull it, but I don't even know how much money I've spent on uh, Shining Fates cards. I don't want to know. If I had to guess, I'd probably guess around like 150 to $200. No, probably 200 honestly. Which, for me, that's a lot. Um, I'm 19 years old. I just work a shitty grocery store job, so I don't have unlimited funds, you know? And rather than go bankrupt trying to pull this card, I just got it off of eBay for like $5. It's absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite cards in newer sets. You know, I know it's like a year old now, but whatever. I also know it is nowhere near with the rare, one of the rarer, rarest cards in the set, but... I don't care. I love this. You know, I pulled that Secret Rare VMAX Eternamus? Eterna? I don't know. The Black and Gold VMAX Dragon card, the Secret Rare one. I pulled that from the set, and I still like this just a little bit better. You know? Like, granted, I love that card, but still. This is what I wanted. I finally got it. There, have another. Um... So now I can, I can ease, ease down on the, all right, I guess I'm opening it back. I can, you know, halt my constant spending on Shining Fates cards. Granted, there are still, you know, tons of cards from that set I would love to get, but now I no longer have to purchase every single, oh, there. Okay, I thought I was pulling the rare out for a second. Now, I no longer have to purchase every single fucking thing from Walmart that says Shining Fates. You know, I can just do it every now and then. Um, yeah, Whirlipede. Echoing Horn. I'm a fucking gardener. Lapras. Whoa. Got the trainer in the back. That's, that's really dope, actually. Deerling. Galarian Slowpoke. Ball of Gas. Not as cool as the original Yamask. Old Cemetery. And Obama. Snow. That's a pretty cool card. It would have been cooler if it were hollow. You know, let's let's be real. 
but a cool card nonetheless. Um, I'm just gonna put it aside there. And on to the last letter I've got at the moment. All right, it feels like I'm cutting something important. Thank God I'm not. Whoa, okay. I had no clue I was gonna get um, one of these burning shadow sleeves. Um, but that, excellent addition. Voila. The Mega Swampert promo from, um, let me see here. 2015, yeah. I've got a regular Swampert EX, so now I've got this. I've wanted this box ever since it came out, but, um, I was like 12 back then. So, you know, convincing people to let a jobless 12-year-old spend what little funds he had on, you know, giant $50 boxes. I don't know, it was like 40 or $50, maybe 45 But those Mega EX boxes cost a lot back in the day. A lot for a middle schooler. So now I've got the card that I've wanted for years. It's... It's really, really dope. One of my favorite um, X and Y promos. I, you know, like, it, you know, it's relatively simple. Like, it's just your standard Mega EX. But I still love it. All right. Um, have that and have that. I colored out one of the digits but whenever I do that on a code, on a code, it will always be a number, unless I specify otherwise. But yeah, so you only have to guess ten times which number it is, rather than twenty six if I had colored out a letter. All right, let's open this. Open it. Oh, no, I don't. Un I don't understand how these codes. I'm awful at remembering codes and like which way I'm supposed to slide it off be a lot easier if Pokemon you know if the company was consistent in their methods but alas we live in a cruel world all right coffee haha <laughs> I, I know it's not um uh, cupcake lady bird orphan Butterfly, alligator, vacuum cleaner, eh, cling clang. Okay, that, for a non-holo, that's actually a pretty dope card. We'll, we'll take it. We, we'll take those, you know, we take those here. We may not, if that weren't such a good looking card, but it is, so... I'll cut it a little bit of slack, eh? Eh? Okay, I think we've got nothing in this pack, but whatever. I got these packs for free, so I can't really complain. Well, I mean, that's not gonna stop me, but, you know, I'd be a lot more pissed if I paid, paid uh, money for them. Yellhorn. Relicanth, that is a really cool card. Okay, hello. Solrock. Clink. Ducklet. That was one of my favorites when Black and White dropped out. Ducklet. I still love that Pokemon. Swanna kind of sucks, but Ducklet. Ducklet's nice. Uh, Mareep. London. Goth Kitty. Kitty, K-I-D-D-I-E. Not the fucking cat. Bound Sweet Clay looks cool. Volcarona. All right. Getting nothing good except what I've received in the mail. Which, you know, it's whatever. I pulled this in the last episode, so I feel like all of my luck is uh, gonna be a bit dry for a while just to make up for that. You know, I, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I would not be surprised if Pokemon fucked me in the ass a couple times to uh, make up for that. Here's another of mine. There we go. Please come out. Thank you. 
One, two, four, eleven. All right, Simi Sage. I know everyone hates this monkey trio, but I like them, so shut up. I don't love them, but I like them. Wow, okay. Kaboo, that's that's a really cool card, actually. Soul Rock. Ska, one of my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. One of my favorite Gen 5 lines. Dino. Jigglypuff! Dunsparce. Clink. Whoa, okay, reverse Clink Clang. And, um, goth, big titty goth GF. Except she hasn't got any titties. That's okay. I do not care. Flat-chested queen, you're still gorgeous, I guess. Shining Fates. Shining Fates. Remember, if it's a blacked-out digit, it's a number. Shining Fates. Yeah. Kinda sucks that Pokemon gave me the old dick up the ass this episode, but at least I got these fools. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, um, go tell your mom about it. Maybe she'll like it too. Um, if you like my my code card giveaways, have another one. Mmm, breadcrumbs. Um, if you like getting free codes, I'm always giving those away in these. If you like watching an idiot open Pokemon cards, um, here I am. If you're interested in what this idiot spends all his grocery store paychecks on in the mail, um, feel free to subscribe and see that. Thank you for watching, have a good day, and I hope your polls are going to be better than mine from this video. Goodbye.